Hi, and thanks for logging on to the Daily Dvar. And here's a brand new halacha for you. And it's for Erev Rosh Hashanah 2011. That's leading up to the year 5772. Here's a couple of last minute laws that you need to know. The, uh, at Erev Rosh Hashanah, we won't be blowing the shofar. That's because all the shofar blasts that were done throughout the month of Elul were reminders to wake us up to repent. And then after we have done all that, then we pause to show now a different kind of shofar blast will happen on Yom Tur on the day of the shofar blowing, and that's on Rosh Hashanah itself. That's a commandment biblically that we must hear the shofar blast. So make sure to get to shul to hear that. If you can't get to shul, try to have someone come to your home to at least blow the shofar for you at home. On uh, Erev Rosh Hashanah, we've gone through all the customs. Some people fast on the first half of Rosh Hashanah. Many men go to the mikvah. And uh, now more things that you need to know for Rosh Hashanah itself. Starting at the Marav of Rosh Hashanah night, we will be adding additions into our Shemona Esrei like Zachreinu Lechaim and Micha Mocha. Though, and the most important of them is HaMelech HaKadosh. We replace, we replace the words HaKel HaKadosh, the Holy God, and we call him the Holy King. And if you forget to say that one, HaMelech HaKadosh, you would have to repeat the Shemona Esrei. It's that important. All the others, if you forget them, you st they're still important, but they're not important enough that you would repeat the Shemona Esrei. The main idea is that we are being Mamlich God. We are saying clearly to ourselves that He is our King, and we most clearly say that when we say the phrase HaMelech HaKadosh. On Friday night, Friday night and Shabbos is going to be called Shabbos Shuvah, the Shabbos of repentance. And so on Friday night, because it is inside of the 10 days of repentance, we will be saying in the special prayer, Malgain Avos, near the end of Friday night, Mariv, we will be adding in the words HaMelech HaKadosh instead of HaKel HaKadosh, in keeping with the feeling of how we feel throughout these 10 days of repentance. And then after Shabbos, starting on Sunday morning at the crack of dawn, it will be the fast of Gedalia. We'll be telling you more about that on our Saturday night and Sunday halacha, but uh, for now just be prepared to have the fast be start for you at the crack of dawn and end when the three stars come out. Usually this fast would be held on the third of Tishrei, but this year the third of Tishrei is Shabbos, so the fast will be pushed off onto Sunday this year, the fourth of Tishrei. Thanks for logging on and log on again after Rosh Hashanah and Shabbos for more. Have a Ksiva Vachsima Tova be inscribed all of us for a good new year and hope to see you uh, next year right after Rosh Rosh Hashanah. Bye-bye.